New at five, new video of an ATM taking a beating from a pair of thieves in Hyde Park, slamming their bodies against the cash machine, ripping it from the floor of a gas station, eventually dragging the whole ATM right out the door. CBS 2 Stephen Graves is live in Hyde Park, where he's asking about solutions to stop this kind of crime. Stephen. Well, Erica, all the damage cleared up here tonight, but as businesses and even legislators eye solutions to this crime, one security expert is saying there's really only one way to attack the issue. It is a crime that keeps on hitting Chicago and its suburbs year after year. Bold ATM thefts, like one early this morning at a gas station in Hyde Park. Not even bolts could stop these burglars. Video shows them repeatedly body slam the machine to the ground. Take a look as they later loaded it into a black SUV. Video shows a similar tactic playing out last week at a store on the north side. As soon as they opened the door, they straight to the ATM. Time is a, a criminal's enemy. That's why ATM security expert David Tenty says the physical attacks on ATMs are rising across the country as fraud protection measures on machines get better. The problem only getting worse since the pandemic. We're, we're seeing in, in New York City now, there's so much crime against ATMs that we're starting to, you know, have some concern that uh, the operators won't be able to get the insurance they need to operate. Which could mean fewer places to get your cash. Tinty says about 60% of ATMs are at independent businesses, stores that have even been rammed into by cars for those ATMs. That prompted state and local city leaders in Ohio, for example, to introduce legislation for businesses in 2016, requiring barriers outside, certain length of bolts that go into the ground, and putting machines in the back of stores. Tinty says some states have lighting requirements, but passing laws around the issue is rare. The one thing he's now focused on to stop this, getting stricter penalties for criminals. Because of the laws in many states, uh, whether you steal a candy bar or break into an ATM, the, the crime is the same. Talks ongoing to help put an end to a crime costing money for many. And there are other there are other things like GPS trackers and money tainting software that can be used in ATMs, but those of course cost more money. We did reach out to the mayor's office, even Chicago police, to figure out if they are attacking the issue here locally, ways they're doing that. We haven't heard back yet, but we'll keep asking. Live in Hyde Park, Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News.